hear like a really large fly tapping at the window. Didn't take any damage the first half, though. That's pretty good. Dang it. Where'd he go? Still somehow got me. Come on, hit him. He didn't jump that time. Come on! That third hit. Also, no way. Greed. Totally lost him. <laughs> Some of these misses are just infuriating. Somehow hit me there. He's pummeling me, man. Come on, missed. My god. Okay, better than last time. Better than last time. I used a lot of heals that time. Wow, I used a lot of heals. I might I might yet go back to Bergenworth. Oh, interesting. This guy's already well into the, the match. Lentz. I'm here too.
My job is just to be kind of a, a thorn in this guy's side. Wait, dead? Oh, there's two other guys in here. Oh, he's got the hurrah. Oh, I guess I might have that too. Wow, hey, they're good. Look at that. No! no! Hey, Murph, what's up? That is Amygdala. One of the bosses. Okay. Sweet 11k souls. Okay. Didn't I get more last time? 14k or something? Was it because there was three people that, that time? Hmm. Hey, Ontario, what's up? Uh, maybe about 20 minutes ago, half an hour maybe, at most. Eh, not that long ago. I did a couple um, Lugarius attempts, died, and uh, we're going to go into the chalice now. Well, I better be careful because I can't... It costs money to make a chalice. I don't have this. What is this? What? I didn't do that. So I'll make one of these. It costs 1800 Oh. And six. We're going to go into this. But let me buy some stuff first. Excellent. It is a pretty cool looking boss, I have to say. There's that chalice glyph. Write it down if you guys want. 8NBJ7C46 Off we go! This game's really fun, Murph. It's great. The spooky magic hand that grabs you. Yeah. What's up, Molotov Power? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Snow Keenan. How you doing? And, uh, Craig, welcome back. Saturday, you know. Saturday, I don't have to do anything. Except play Bloodborne! I'm compelled to. Like, when I'm at work, I'm thinking about Bloodborne. <laughs> it's bad. You guys, it's pretty bad. Oh. I really like how you kind of tap, you tap the lantern on the head to light it. I like that a lot. Dumeru. Here we are again. You know what? I don't care what they say. I want the hand lantern back. I don't care if this slows me down. I want this back. Drink. Yes. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, it's not that surprising, Craig. Here we go. Tap the lantern on the head. Drink. Or he's like, like snapping his fingers at it. Worthless move. Door, good. Closed by some device. We're in the central chalice now. 
So I think this guy means that there's a, a lady somewhere casting them. Took Rodney quite a while to figure that out, amusingly. I think I saw her up there, in fact. Oh, yeah. Bent lady. Sensors, come on. Molotovs. You can do it, Hex Chat. You got this. There's the guy. I see him now. He's not the same guy carrying the the like dual wielding, is he? No. That guy's over here somewhere. That guy looks like he'll hurt me a lot if he hits me. Oh, he's carrying that fire paper. So I got uh the second buff icon is oh I don't know which one you're thinking of as the first. But one of them is, um, one of them is more damage at full health. The other one is, um, oh, damage against beasts down. I forgot I still had that. So this might actually be bad. Oh, well, look at that backswing. It caught him with just the, the end of the sw swing there. That's new. I don't think I recognize him. Quicksilver bullers. Nothing good here. Where'd he go? Two? So good. Ooh, there's another outdoor section. Looks like it might be the shadow of something very large in here. Oh. oh. It's a bagman. God dang it. I hate bagman. Jerks. The preferred method of travel is rolling. Yay! Need those blood vials. Timing on that was pretty bad. Come on out, Bagman. I know I know about you. <sighs> Awful. Luckily, I have a lot.
lot more damage now than I used to. Axion Verge? Oh, the game? Uh, I think I might have. Here, let's put the level thing to rest. 66. Green. Green stuff. Oh, skulls. Yeah, that's pleasant. Oh, I can open this. Oh god, dogs. That looks like fun. We'll go there in a minute. It looks like a trap. Also looks that's a fancy looking chest. Ooh, cool. New style of chest. I like it. Oh, got some ritual blood number twos. Nice. I can plunge attack the sensor if I wanted. Yeah, pretty annoying. Not as annoying as the sensors in my chat, though. Ho ho! That guy's gonna wake up. That's a corpse. My bad. Hmm, nothing here. Okay. NES Metroid style game. I remember looking it up. It looked uh, it looked pretty cool. Am I? Oh, come full circle. Eh, how about that? I didn't realize that there was a door here. Maybe I, maybe I did. Okay. So back up to this delightful room with, full of lots of dudes. I killed something. Hey there, dog. Come on, dogs. Come on. I'm going to have to pebble you. Chug one. That's the guy covering, guarding the, the thingy. What does he got there? Swing lower, buddy. Progress. That's the sound of progress. Thank you. Now we'll see what we have here in terms of bosses. For first level, that wasn't too bad to get through. I guess I'm probably high enough level that this isn't... I think this is probably under my level still. I have to place it in the game, I feel like I'm overleveled for them. And yet I still suck. So be it. I think I went through all this, just going back through to make sure I didn't miss anything. Any obvious passage or item. Like, there was uh, one part in the first. Through Mary Chalice, where there's a ladder, and uh, 
I watched Rodney walk past, like, climb up this ladder, and just on the other side of the ladder on the ground floor is an item. And I watched him climb up that ladder and stare that item in the face like six times. Oh my god. That was a bit hard to watch. You know what? I'm gonna go back and, um, <laughs> buy vials with this, with these souls. Echoes, whatever. Wait, wrong way. Hang on. <laughs> Incensed. <laughs> Good. You should be. Where did I come from? Oh, this way. I totally forgot which way I came into this room. Look at me. I'm now trying to uh, um, consume my vials. I, I suck a bit, but maybe not as much as I say. Hey, Mr. Jenkins. What's up, dude? Find some vials. Yeah, let me see if I can buy something with insight, because I have so much of it. I think I've bought everything I can, but I should check. I went out the wrong door there. I can buy these. I'm going to need these later. Nothing. I don't need, I don't need those. Wow, I can just buy like a ton of them. I don't know, is there a problem with having this much insight? They talked about how it increases frenzy or something like that. Oh, thanks, Snoopy. Oh, look at that. The chalices light up as you get closer. What is it? Is it just a lighting trick? Look. See? They flicker and grow, grow brighter. What do I need for the Lauren chalice? I should keep that in mind. Oh, I can't even. Oh, wait, here we go. Ah. I need number four. Ritual blood number four. Nine of them. And I need the cold blood flower heads, which I have. Nine. Dang, yo. It's... So Axion Verge also has a nice soundtrack. I'd look into that. I, I love video game soundtracks. That's what I listen to at least half the time at work. Transistor soundtrack has been uh, close to the top of the list lately. Been listening to a lot of that. What's up, Ken H87? Welcome to the stream. Hey, PRQT, welcome back. Oh, Necroburger, been a while. What's up, dude? Necroburger's old school. Fought him in Dark Souls 1 a long time ago. Duels and invasions. He used to invade me. Let's see what we got here. And <laughs> the self deprecation thing. Beast possessed soul. Hey, it's this guy. I already fought one of these. But this is, this is like a boss version of him. hitting Is he blind now? Good damage.
Back up and heal. Do not die to this guy like that. <laughs> that was so close to dying. That guy was a joke. I must be way over leveled for this. Dunk. I have to be super over leveled. Starts with a D. Well, let's see. I had choices of chalices elsewhere. I bet I could figure out which one you're talking about. Looks like death down there. Layer two. Let's just keep it rolling. Well, I got some souls. And I could use a heal. Go back and tank up on uh Duke. I ain't give up, it's a temporary temporary uh, thing. I think they're gonna get worse later. That's what I get. I, I get the feeling. I know you guys. I've I've heard multiple people complaining about certain chalices and their bosses. So I think Dumeru chalice is probably easy. Probably the rest of them are. Uh... Oh my God! The number of Kappa faces. Jeez, you people. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> I I get it. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's gonna get worse later. <laughs> hey, Raven Wolf's Blood Ashereth, welcome back. I haven't gotten to any of the bad ones yet. Is the is the thing? That was dumb. Screw you, buddy. I see Rodney. If this is the mace, the rolling mace guy, I'm gonna be annoyed because that guy was hard. Oh, it's this guy. Whoa, he's got a gun! Was that thing always a gun? I keep going and doing the R2, but I probably shouldn't, because the ch the wind up on it's pretty slow. And it doesn't really chain into things very well. What is uh? That's a little faster. I don't know. That's a good combo. The R1 R2. That's a pretty R1 L2. I mean, it's a pretty sweet one. Should do that more often. The L2 seems to do a lot more poise damage. I noticed that on Logarius, it was staggering him on, on basically every hit. He really hated it. There's nothing in here. Come on, yo. Put something in here for me. I demand compensation. If you explore every chalice fully, you should have enough to do the next in the tree. Interesting. Hey, dogs, it's okay. Come on, yo. Oh, it's 
it's this room. I've, I'm starting to recognize these room layouts. So this is what this is where it was in Rodney's. You came up to this ladder, and there was a an item right here, and he missed it like six times. I, I just gotta I gotta bring that up again because it was hilarious. Oh no! <laughs> Fall damage. That's what I get for saying anything is too easy. That lady had my number. And now she had my souls. What? Oh, there's a bagman too. Crap. Wow, the damage. I think I got double team there. Echoes. Hey. I've got I got Logarius down to about a third health and I decided I'd come back to him in a while. Did I get poison knives? Rip, please rip. Can't see anything. Where's that bag man? It wasn't even the bag man! Holy cow, the damage! Oh, there go my souls too. Whatever. Wow! What is up with that? Okay, I really gotta be more careful about them. Fire damage, Jesus Christ. Give me blood vials. Give me something. Well, they seek me too. How are you supposed to deal with them properly? I've died to that lady like four times now. <laughs> Missed the enemy, fall off the ledge. <laughs> hey, Blind Killer, welcome to the stream. Unbalance. <laughs> Better get your popcorn ready. Okay. 
the first time I finally killed that killed her. Dealt with. Okay. Bagman delivers. Blood blood echoes to me. Okay, finally. There's a lot going on in this room. I feel like I've seen some of these rooms before. Is that the... Is that the device? I think it might be. Something significant over there. Oh, no. Something, something weird there. It's just a chandelier. I'm trying to see if he has the uh, thing underneath him. The device. I uh, can't tell. Perhaps not. It's tempting to go for the plunge. Very tempting. But I don't know what other kind of mess I'm going to end up in. At a minimum, there's one other guy that I left alive. Or did he die when, from fall damage? Yeah, this is central Ptumeru. I love saying that word, Ptumeru. Makes me feel like I'm spitting. Oh, hello! blood number threes. Got that at least. Now we can explore. So I guess you can just randomly take a path and end up at the device fairly quickly. Ritual blood number threes. Good, good, good. I'm going to need those for something. Do I still need the number fours to open Loren? Oh, it's look. It's one of these little guys. Except he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have the little beam of light shooting out of him. So before I drop down there, let's look at the other branching path from that ladder room. There were two paths that I could take, if I can find my way back to it. I'm a little lost. Where did I go? There. Here it is. There were two paths from here. There we go. This way. Let's go this way. Should have been quick with the follow-up. You know, double-tap them. Bagman? Come on over here, Bagman. I know how to deal with single Bagman. You know that rune that gives me healing from quick from visceral attacks? I wonder if it works even if they're like dead. Like that guy. Cool. 
cool, cool. This room's not too bad. Nothing over here. Okay. How far do I plan on leveling up? As far as I can go! Yeah, I got no plans. I'll, this is my first playthrough, so I'll just level up as much as I can. Because whenever it's convenient, if I have the level, souls to level up, I will. I'm not really trying to grind for levels, though. So, you know, whatever happens. Let's go do the plunge attack on that dude. Coming to Steam eventually. Steam is where I'll get it. Hey, there's that guy from earlier. Plunge attack, totally worth it. Oh, the nice thing about plunge attacks? I wonder if get landing the plunge will heal you from the fall damage that you take. Does it work that way, or does the timing not work out? It's an interesting thought. Hey, look where I am. Come full circle. Once again, let's go buy some vials. And then we'll come back to that. Formulaic. Yeah, low health beeping is, is not helpful. <laughs> like, I get it, alright? You can beep for like five seconds, but just let me be. Hey, Chronologic. Welcome back, dude. Hey, Echoes, I was gonna ask you. This is totally random. What's the difference between a soup and a bisque? Like, what makes a bisque a bisque? What's so special about a bisque? Hey Spike, what's up dude? Because the the cafeteria has got this uh tomato basil bisque. Oh, you think you you thought the same same thing about plunge attacks, Rodney? I figure if there's anybody to ask about bisques, it's gonna be Echoes. The sauciest saucier. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Echoes is like a mad awesome chef, like a proper chef. He like he actually knows how to make stuff. Everything he says about his food is just oh god, we need to have a segment like we should have a segment on my stream called What's Echoes Cooking Today? In fact, let's have that segment right now. Echoes, tell us what you're gonna cook today. I wanna know. Let's make everybody hungry. It's time to get hungry, everybody. What are the haps, Double Hawk? Keeper of Old Lords? Keeper of the Old Lords. It's a lady. What's up with all these pyromancers, man? Okay. I don't know if that worked out well in my favor. Now she's got a fire sword. Is she hurt just by touching her? Oh, bent! Okay. So I'm overleveled for this part. Oh, what did I get? A gourmet chalice? Hmm. 
No, I got... Oh, Central Thumeru Root Chalice. I see. I thought it said gourmet. A pureed soup. So it has an even texture. Ah! Typically seen more so with seafood instead of vegetables. Ah! Nice. Creamy, silky texture. Ah! I think I, I think I can recognize that, yeah. This guy reminds me of Dark Souls 1 PvP. <laughs> hey, my hand lantern went off. Turn that back on. Very important. Katanas engender passivity. Nice. <laughs> These bosses are nowhere near as hard as uh, Undead Giant. Uh, or maybe I'm just the right level for it. Gourmet Chalet. <laughs> Beef Wellington and tomatoes. <laughs> Root chalices require a dash of salt. Just a pinch. Let's just keep going, I guess. Is that the... What's the boss door? Bagman? Bagman. This one looks like I'm out in a town square or something. What are these carts doing down here? Like, who brought these down here? Ritual blood number what? Five? Three? What did I get there? Three, I think. set fire to these things, even though we're underground. There's, like, who knows what the ventilation story is in this place. But that's cool. Burn stuff. Oh, we got a ladder. Good, good. Might have missed that if I hadn't come over here. Probably would have. Oh, what's that? A glimpse of the outside world? Oh, man. You can see up above. You can see out of this place. Cool. Aww. So there was a opening. Came from that side. Let's go through. Oh, that's the door. That's the boss door. Let's go through here. This door's already open. This looks like the kind of room that's going to have a trap in it somewhere. In fact, because it reminds me of another room that did have a trap in it. Hand lantern's not really cutting it in here. We're going to need a bigger lantern. Look at this tiny adorable chest. Ritual blood number three. Nice. Did somebody highlight that moment in Rodney's stream where he stepped on the, um, the, the the trap? He triggered the trap and just stood there, and the bolts flew right around his head. Oh, God, that was good. He probably would have died from it, too. Oh, I guess, Mr. Dino Games. I guess. Seared boneless pork chop? Roasted garlic mashed potatoes, green beans, bell pepper. Oh my god, this sounds like a sounds like a fancy restaurant menu. Oh god. Sauteed in a bit of bacon fat topped with crumbled bacon. Holy crap. Yo! Who's getting hungry? Well done, Echoes. Oh that sounds fantastic. 
You like that tiny adorable chest? Um, choices. Oh. And a bagman! That's new. Don't hit the thing. Oh, another bagman. One of these days they're not going to do that and then it's going to make them a lot harder to kill. Now that I figured out this trick. Fifteen hundred damage! Dang! Planking. They're tracking me. They're tracking me. Oh, it's that stupid lady. Oh, no. Where is she? Dang it, where is she? Ah, this way. There she is. We'll come back to the, the fire lady. Because screw that noise. Yeah, those those incense ladies. Hey, there we go. It's one of the guys with the guns, isn't it? hard though. None of these guys have been as hard as the uh, the mace rolling guy. That guy was no joke. Bullets. I can't see. There's three of them in here. Oh, all right, Echoes. You started up a karaoke business. Wait, wait, wait. You you own a karaoke bar or something? What, what does that mean? You're going to have to explain that to me in, in, in detail later. Anyway, thanks for making us hungry, Echoes, as usual. I'll see you later, man.
think I've been in that room. Let's go take care of the fire lady. Or die to the fire lady, whatever. One way or the other. I'm scared of her. As anyone should be. Hey, Babane! Yay! What's up, man? <laughs> Mace rolling guys at PvP Pro. <laughs> yeah. What else is left here? Oh, there's still a door I didn't go through. Yo, hooded. Welcome back, dude. weird there's gravestones in here they think that somebody's buried here under this solid ground <laughs> no fun allowed fine fine Take, take your time, guy. <laughs> Rashane, hey. Hmm. It's gonna be more ritual, ritual stuff. Sage's wrist. It's, I got two of them, which means it's probably a usable item. Hmm? Oh! Special, oh, it's another chalice ritual material. A, a body part of a saint, sacrificed by the healing church in their search for truth. They say truth, but they actually mean the, the, the old one truth, I think. The addition, the additional rite, fetid offering, Fetid offering invigorates the watchers, making them more treacherous than normal, but also making them worthy prey for a special hunt. Ah, that's what I can do. I can add. I can add this in to an existing one. I saw a hint of this in um, searching for when, when when you go search for other people's chalices. More treacherous than normal, so it makes them makes them harder. Wow, cool echoes. That's awesome. I hope it uh hope it makes you some cash. That sounds like a cool deal. Just set up the equipment somewhere. That's good. That's really that's a good idea. Yeah, I hope that's working out for you. What have we here? What the heck is that? I feel like I better go take care of this guy first. This is a bigger area. Like I went, I got the, the, the boss fairly quickly, but there's a whole lot more to explore in here. What was that? Sounded like something, somebody chucking a boulder. 
Yay, blood vials. Any pebbles? I should just run in here and swing. Did I knock one off? See the guy chucking boulders? I don't think so. I could take the plunge, but. Is that a bagman? Can't tell. <laughs> it, can't, it can't be an armor piece. They gave me two of them. This is where I came from. There was an e another exit from here. And there's this. I missed this. Look at this one. That's a chest fit to be a mimic. This ornate freaking chest. What? Why did it make a sound when I opened it? Like a dramatic burst of music. Was it called a tomb mold? Do I already have these? Sounds familiar. Yeah. Oh, it's a tomb mold. Was it a tomb mold number two? I'm gonna need that for something. This game is pretty great. Still going great. Still loving it. So I came in from over there, I think. Found that and now I better check the sides and make sure there aren't any more doors like that. I don't like the sound of whatever's doing that. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like the boulders in Sen's Fortress. Like a boulder trap. Okay. Okay, good. So let's go out through here. And here's where I came to kill that white lady. That ghost lady, I guess. That's definitely a boulder trap. Bagman. Please get bent. I hate it when I miss that. Somebody just throw something at me? Something's like shooting or spitting somewhere, but I can't I can't tell where it's coming from. See that? Hear that? not in this room.
two hours to get summoned. Make sure you don't have a network password. Ha 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 ha. Like I did last night. Well, I don't think it's in that room. This is where I came from. No exits over here. Mind the recycle sound clips actually. Almost certainly a trap. All these are almost certainly traps. The last time I encountered things like that, they were traps. Did something just shoot at me? Tiny adorable chest. Some ritual blood number two. Edgelords. That's their official name? Edgelords? What? Doesn't make any sense. To mold. So really these chalice dungeons are weird. The only loot I'm getting from them is more stuff for chalice dungeons. I feel slightly cheapened. like I've been had. Is this the only thing in here? Yeah, half the stuff is more materials for more Chalice Dungeons. It's like a whole separate game that they put in here. Oh, wait. I missed one more. What the heck? Hey, look at that. More more Chalice Dungeon stuff. Now I better check again make sure I didn't miss anything. Hmm. This is dark. I think I, I think I got everything. Wow, nice for Shane. Man, you're blazing through it, it sounds like. But Rashane's a real pro, so that makes sense. Alright, here's the room with the boulders, I bet. Oh yeah. I'm so glad there was something else past there. I'm going to take a look now, but probably there's nothing else. Should I look at where it drops to? That looks like death. Actually, this place looks significant. Let's go down here. What is this? It's a fancy looking door. I don't know if these are traps or what.
This place is really big now. Like the first levels were small. But this is pretty large. Big shocker. Imminent death. I don't want to fight him there because I'm not going to be able to get the backstab on him. I was about to die there. Very close to death. Is that a dude? What an interesting place. Look at all this stuff. Kind of cool. Maybe these aren't traps. I see a chest. Thought that was a door. Oh, you're on Amelia? Nice, nice. It's a good boss. Pretty fun boss. Look at these significant looking chests over here. mold more materials I really like how these chests look though sage's wrist won't just destroy everything in this priceless looking tomb I really like the look of this room though it's pretty awesome I got this one. Okay, so that was this. Just a standalone little room over here. There's a lot of stuff in these places. This is probably the room with that guy in it with the plunge attack. Yep. Don't break the decorations. Bagman is the curator of that museum. And I just went there, in there and put my hands on everything, even though the sign said, please do not touch. I was like, hey, nice enemy placement, but now I remember I just dropped that guy off here. And exit. Oh, the new Star Wars movie? I haven't watched the thing yet. This guy looks significant, too. Fine, do that. time if you please that's no, the new uh, there's a new movie coming out right something like that I saw that just in time. So even though that guy's holding a 
lamp in front of his face, he's still able to spit something at me. Where's this gonna go? Have I come full circle yet? No. Wait. Wait, what now? Really? Oh man, I did not see that. That's interesting. Huh. How about that? I think I've seen everything now. Okay, let's go buy some let's buy some stuff. Buy some more vials. <laughs>